Hi everyone, David Rittenhouse here with Precision Sail Loft in Victoria, Canada. Today we're featuring a head sail for a CNC 29 Mark II, and this is a mainsail using the warp drive cruise cloth from Challenge uh, in the six ounce weight. So let's do a quick tour around the sail, uh, starting off in the uh, tack. You'll notice there's some great uh, work and stitching on that with the tack and as well uh, the Cunningham. We've got uh, foot lines on that, uh, nice work on that. And uh, oh, and as well, all uh, orders come with a precision sail uh, stuff sack. And we also have the battens for this sail uh, wrapped up, coiled uh, to cut down on shipping. Uh, the customer wanted a uh, loose foot configuration uh, for the sail, giving a better performance. Looking over into the clue corner of the sail, you can see the great stitching work on that. And as well, the leech line with the uh, cleat there. Let's give this a flip over. So we've got a big, nice clue slug on that for the boom. Uh, for the control and as well because it is loose foot we always ship um, velcro webbing so you can wrap that around the boom to give some additional control now looking at uh, the reinforcement in uh, each corner here uh, you'll notice we've got the uh, radial stitching and uh, a bunch of blocks uh, for the reinforcement and we'll work our way up uh, to the uh, the one reef point on this sail and you'll notice on this that uh, the, even at the reef point, we have the same amount of uh, block reinforcement and stitching like we did uh, down at the foot in the blue corner of the sail. So some great attention to detail. And the other thing is you'll notice uh, many other uh, sails do not have the full reef belt for reinforcements. Uh, so instead of just having free floating grommets, uh, it has the additional reinforcement and stitching, you'll notice there's uh, three layers of stitching along that belt. Uh, this customer also opted uh, for uh, two partial and as well two full battens, and uh, that's, some, that's some great uh, control for the sail to give it shape uh, in, in, if you're doing club racing or just uh, some uh, uh, performance uh, cruising as well. Uh, nice work on the CNC 29 insignia and as well uh, with the um, draft stripes. So looking at the uh, batten tie-ins, you'll see you can get uh, some great control in terms of uh, tying that in and uh, the batten receptacle going over to uh, the, uh, uh, the main uh, slider over there. So let's just go ahead and take a walk around this sail looking at some of the uh, detail up at the head in terms of uh, the reinforcement and uh, radial stitching and working our way down uh, the left of the sail so again uh, this customer had uh, we also did a uh, head sail uh, a 145 Jenny also in the uh, warp drive material and as mentioned before the great thing about the warp drive material is that it has the shape of, uh, of a race sail with the tri-radial shape instead of a cross-cut sail uh, with the Dacron uh, with the cost benefit of the Dacron material so you got the best of both worlds with the, uh, the the price savings of Dacron in the race shape so this is great for high performance cruising and as well for uh, club racing too this customer is based in New Brunswick in uh, Eastern Canada. Uh, so they're gonna have a great time with uh, this mainsail and as well uh, their Genoa uh, for their CNC 29 Mark II. Uh, if you have a CNC uh, and like a, a quote uh, or you have any other type of sailboat, please give us a call or click on the link below and we'll uh, get a, quick, a quote out to you uh, very quickly. Uh, thanks for watching, have a good day.